Hunting Tribe. We're doing another Bob McLean video production. This time Bob's decided he wants me to be involved, so we'll see how it goes. Hope it goes okay. We're going to start out talking about proper divot and improper divot, okay? So if you'll look right here, I'm going to show you an example of what we'd like you not to do. As you can see, right here someone has hit some pitch shots. They hit a shot from here, then moved over to the side, hit another shot, moved over to this side and hit another shot. So that's created a big pattern there that we will have a hard time getting healed. But if you see how we really want you to do it right here, you'll understand why this is a much better way to do it. You'll see this is one, this looks like one big long divot going out through here. What somebody has done here is done exactly what we want for them to do. And that is you lay a ball down right here to hit it. And once you hit it, you're gonna take the divot. And when you put another ball down, because you wanna hit the same shot from the same spot, Put it right behind that divot, hit it again, and just keep moving so that you form a straight line divot pattern, and you'll see that that total area is only about that wide, and that will heal much, much more quickly than what would happen over here with these divots going in a horizontal fashion. We want all divots going in a vertical fashion. And so while we're on the subject of divots, we have a, a case full of divot sand right up here by the putting green always take one of these with you as you walk around the short game area so you can quickly put that green sand right back in that divot it'll start to heal speaking of that we're kind of near the putting green and bob and i had a had one of these epiphanies today that when we decided to keep the short game area closed during the week so that when we have our uh, grand opening on september 13th the area would look very pristine but what we didn't think about was there was no need to close the putting course because nobody's gonna take any divots out of the putting course. So we're gonna open the putting course back up and leave it open every day. Bob's gonna put the, the flags back in the putting course first thing Thursday morning, and the putting course will stay open. We just won't be able to have the, the, the pitching and chipping areas open until we get through the short game area. We hope you're already enjoying our new short game area. And if you'll look really closely next time you're out here, you'll pop, probably find Bob McLean's fingerprints all over this place because he gave it a lot of love to get it looking like it is. Thanks so much. Enjoy the short game area.